Warm up your voices. Warm up your voices. Ah! Welcome to the Griff on TV. I'm Leanna. And I'm Sean. We'll be bringing you the top stories from the students of McEwen University. Today's top story is one of ambition and divine intervention. Destined to be McEwen's newest soccer star, everything changed for Isla Randio in the fall of 2022 when she was diagnosed with a viral infection. After dozens of tests and specialist consultations, they were able to give her a definitive diagnosis, setting the stage for her recovery and reconnection. For months, she fought to remember her friends, family, and herself, as well as relearning how to walk and talk. It wasn't until October 1st of 2022 that she was blessed by a priest and a miracle unfolded. Randio recovered rapidly without any reason a doctor could find. With her healed relationship with fate, Randio will be back on the field this fall. Next up, a big turnaround for the Oilers leaves fans hopeful for the future. Contributor Avery Chilton expresses her thoughts on the comeback the Oilers have made this season, moving up from 31st into 20th place in the league. The 10-win streak has been getting Oilers fans gassed up despite the mid-season coaching shakeup. Chilton believes that the success of the players and the team doesn't just come from their talent, but the unwavering fan base they have. With players like McDavid and Dreisaitl on our side, and fans who will go the distance to support them, there is no say in how far the Oilers will go, but their determination is not something to be downplayed. Go Canucks, go. Speaking of sports, McEwen's women's basketball team played Calgary on January 5th with a 3-4 win for Calgary. McEwen's men's and women's volleyball team faced off against Manitoba on January 5th and 6th, both resulting in losses for the teams. On January 12th, the women's hockey team versus UBC for a 1-4 loss. The first period brought in a goal by Jesse Jack, which helped her break the McEwen record for most goals in a single Canada West season by a Griffin. Way to go, Jackie. Jesse. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Stepping into the role of band director this season, Marty Majorovet flourishes his musical talents on stage with McEwen's big band concert. Playing shows since the 70s, it has only grown alongside the university. More students entering the music program means more performers each year. Now, Majorovets awaits this year's big band concert with hope that his changes have been positive ones. Students like Yuloa Nielsen say that Majorovets' addition to the big band performance is a new exploratory phase of the big band, and certainly one that worked out. This year's performance was the most attended in years, says Majorovets. Now for some major pop culture moments from this week. Caitlin Dever joins The Last of Us Season 2 as Abby, with filming starting in February 2024. Unfortunately, production has moved from Calgary to Vancouver. Marvel's newest TV series, Echo, recently released on Disney+, Plus, surrounding Maya Lopez and her quest to defeat Kingpin. The five-episode series is a spin-off of Hawkeye and follows her reconnecting with her indigenous heritage. Included in this cast is Edmontonian filmmaker and actor Cody Lightning, known for his films Hey Victor and Craters of the Moon. We're all new. We're, we're, we're new. You're new. We're new. I was we're born yesterday, new. honestly. Students from across Alberta come to Edmonton for university, job opportunities, and the vast late-night takeout options available. Contributor Zanib spoke to third-year student Brady Newman about his experience moving from the town of Whitecourt to the big city. The move to Edmonton can be a scary one, with bad drivers and broken public transportation services, but that doesn't stop students from smaller towns embracing the anonymity and diversity Edmonton has to offer. Why, John? If you want to read more, check out thegriff.ca for all the latest news, culture, opinions, and more. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, Griffins, until next time, keep warm and keep those trombones a blowing. No, is it? Isn't that what they do? What are you? What, I'm trying to think get... like Sailor Moon. Oh, I am. I'm not. <sighs> He's like, fuck it, start again. <laughs>